Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do a, try to do a test flight of the SEMA with the brushless editions uh, or modifications. So one of the things, I have this tethered. All the time when I test the new copter, I tether it. And uh, uh, it's just a good idea in case it flies away, that kind of stuff. Because this is, this is rather interesting. So i got one motor that's not spinning up. So I am going to have to check this because that motor is not, the other motors are spinning up, but notice something must be uh, up with that motor. So you see the problem with that. And boom, this is why we tether it. So I just kind of wanted to show this. I knew that this was going to be a bit of a problem, but again, I kind of wanted to show, um, you know what's going on. I think I think there's something wrong in the connection to that. But this is one of the big things. I can't stress enough when you get a new copter like this, especially one, you know, that's sort of a DIY. You want to do this. Uh, you want to have it tethered, and that's why I wanted to kind of show this video. So uh, you want to watch. You don't get this wrapped up in the props. But obviously, I've got a problem here with one of the motors um, not spinning up. So I'm going to have to take it apart and see what's uh, see what's up with that. Uh, I want to try this just one more time. And so you can see you can see that that motor is not So you can see that the two I believe counterclockwise aren't uh, spinning up like the clockwise. And I'm kind of tapering this down. So I'm going to have to see what's up with uh, with that because obviously it's not going to fly with three motors. So uh, again, we're going to head this one back to the bench. Just kind of wanted to share this with you. Probably something came loose in there. I don't know if it came loose or it's a bad uh, ESC. We'll have to uh, experiment and see what it is and we'll go from there. So uh, hey. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. If you've done this kit before, let me know below if you've seen this. And then we'll go back to the bench. Um, in another episode, we'll take a deeper look at it. But any, anyways, uh, tether your tests like this because this sucker would have just taken off and flown away. Uh, if that hadn't been the case, could have hit somebody, hurt somebody. And so uh, this is a good uh, way to test until you're comfortable that the copter is flying well. Until then, see you in the next video. Cheers.